Yeah. So if you consumed any type of dating content online, then you've probably heard of the term older women hitting the wall. So what does this hitting the wall mean exactly? I'm 42 and that means half of my life is over. I'm not okay being single. I don't want to be single and I get depressed. As a person who has been single for me personally my whole life. I'm 53. I am, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. I get my feelings hurt. I don't want to be a hookup. Three failed relationships since my marriage had ended. Um, and I have really missed kind of having someone to talk to. Currently I don't date and it's purely for the reason that I am exhausted. I am done with all of these games. I'm done with men. Why is it so hard to find your person? God, am I lonely sometimes. Ouch, that does not sound pleasant at all. Which makes the term hitting the wall such a perfect analogy for this phenomenon since not only are these women completely stuck and prevented from moving forward on their wonderful dating journey, they are also in pain from the realization that most men that they meet nowadays only want them as a short term option. We started chatting and it took him about 30 seconds to try and get his virtual hands down my virtual pants. Come on, ask me about my kids or my life or my musical still, whatever. It's just not that, not so quickly. They say they want a relationship and they don't. They just want options. Now many of the women experiencing the wall will turn to anger and frustration. And you'll need a little blue pill to get it up. And your bald head. I am baffled the fact that I'm single. I am the full package. Like, let's face it, we're over 40. I'm 47 now. Like, I just want to go and enjoy the next 50 years with someone. By calling men sexist, ageist, and my favorite, that these men can't handle a strong, independent woman that knows her worth. Why are men terrified of an independent woman who knows what she wants? Right. Now, what's amazing here is that even though women blame men for the fact that they are running headfirst into this wall, it is actually women themselves who have built the damn thing. And not only that, they've also designed it and are maintaining it. It's basically a women-owned business by women for women. Now, the reason why older women hitting the wall is such an interesting phenomenon and a fully self-induced problem is because there's a fundamental difference between men and women when it comes to dating. Women start out on recruit mode in their early 20s and by the time they hit the wall in their 30s, 40s and 50s, they've hit veteran level where they lose all hope of ever finishing that level. So, it's hard out here, man. I'm just like not looking forward to trying to explain to a man what do I do for a living and tell him how many siblings I have, what do I like to do for fun? But. So I did it, I did it today. I actually deleted my dating app. And also I'm just not feeling like dating um i basically deleted all the apps ghastly freaking apps have you even any idea how ridiculously horrible they are i want something real it's not out there not for me yeah it's not uh looking good anyways taking into consideration how women start out on the dating market oh no you want some that was too good to pass no, that was so that good. Was that was really and then looking at the massive number of women now hitting the wall then there must be a very specific reason for why so many women nowadays are not successful in the dating market. It also makes their self-chosen mantra of knowing your worth so hilariously ironic since I've never heard anyone who was in possession of something truly valuable struggle to attract buyers and get a great price for it. At Christie's, $400 million is the bid, sold. And yet these women still claim to be so freaking valuable while at the same time wonder why nobody wants to be with them long term. 50 years old, single, I'm dating, found nothing but lying. Very confusing because I am a freaking delight. Maybe I'm being picky or maybe I just have standards. I have an incredible career. I am truly living my best life. And so the man that is going to come into this life is going to have something of value to offer me. He's going to make this great life greater. Yeah, a total delight. 
Please drop a like on the video if you think that one of the reasons why all the women hit the wall is simply having a god awful personality and comment down below what you think. Now obviously there is no special dark magic at play here preventing all of these wonderful women to find a loving partner. No, they've all fallen prey to their own collective bull which has manifested itself into this glorious concept that is the wall. Now before we continue it is important to note here that there are two distinct group of older women that hit this wall. One, the classic angry man-hating feminazi who doesn't need a man but for some reason still wants a man. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I do not need a man. I don't need a man. I want one. I think is I don't really need a man. I just want one. The second group are the old school romantics that still believe in true love and actually do like men. I have really missed kind of having someone to talk to even about the little things and I'm ready now to sort of meet the person that I'm going to grow old with. Um, I want to sit on a bench and eat chips, you know. Ah, refreshing. It's like a cold drink on a hot day. Too bad that this lady is on her way to be added to the endangered wildlife list since women like these are pretty much non-existent at this point. Now the critical viewer amongst you might put some of my claims in previous videos together and say, well, if you claim that women have legions of men to choose from when they are younger and that women would be happy if they simply choose a loving guy instead of the giga chats that keeps playing them, then why is this lovely romantic lady still single in her late 30s when she doesn't post any thirst traps on Instagram and has always pursued long-term committed relationships? I think when you're single for a long time, you really, really want it to be true. You want someone to be the one you want you want it to end you want to get off this merry friggin go round i've never had this amount of struggle in dating in my life do you know what i mean i i've had long-term relationships before i was single for this big period so explain to us fbe why is this lady single to that i say excellent question young padawan but you've missed one crucial point here and that is, as soon as women do get into loving and stable relationships, they will start to question everything about that relationship, even though there's no reason to, and this will begin the process of building the wall. They will start to wonder, is this it? Can I do better, perhaps? Or is there a more perfect and more exciting relationship out there for me that I need to go and pursue? Because this is the messaging that they constantly get from other women, and it's precisely why even lovely, hopeless romantics will self-sabotage and ruin a perfectly fine relationship to hop on the danger train because they all think 30-something is still young, right? I could still find a great husband. I was 35 and I thought, you know what, at 35, he was probably 32, I think. But we were young enough to start again, so I thought, this is the best time, we need to do it now. Um, so we split and at first it was exciting. He's actually gone off, he's got a new wife and you know, he's living the life that maybe I wanted, if I'm honest. Yep, that didn't go as planned, what a shock. So as you see, even the hopeless romantic has now fallen prey to today's propaganda that makes women play the dating game like a degenerate gambler, always looking for that little bit extra until eventually they will lose it all. And when they do, it is somehow still the man's fault, even though they were in a perfectly fine and happy relationship to begin with. Now women also love to give other women a helping hand, as in the pushing them off a cliff sense. Sometimes people stay in relationships way too long past their expiration date. In fact, there may be small, subtle things going on that are actually reasons to break up. You're just overlooking them because you don't think they're significant. Yeah, great advice. That's really gonna make those insecurities clock in some good overtime. Anyways, completely ruining their existing relationships by telling them to divorce a guy or dump a guy when he's actually doing nice things. Since nice things are just the bare minimum. So far this series has taught me that if a woman so much as even implies that her man made a mistake, the internet will collectively tell her to dump him and that she's settling. But as it turns out, even when a woman is trying to speak highly of her man, you still tell her the same thing. And this bare minimum thing has gone way too far. This trend of bare minimum is getting ridiculous. I can't even post a TikTok anymore appreciating my partner without people commenting that it's the bare minimum or I have low standards. I literally hate this mindset so much. A man cooking, cleaning, looking after the kids is bare minimum. If my partner ever came home after I've cleaned the house all day, cooked a meal and looked after the children and he said bare minimum, 
I'd be screaming the house down. Apparently, if anything in life makes you cry, it is your man's fault and you need to leave him immediately. All of this marvelous advice and constant searching for a better relationship really makes you wonder, what is it that these women are after? Because if a good relationship is not good enough, and if a great relationship is just the bare minimum, then what exactly do these women want? Finding that person that will give me nothing but the best because I deserve that. Ah, I see. Simply the very best that life has to offer. That's not too much to ask. Jesus Christ, man. The level of entitlement is absolutely insane and it baffles me how women can say this with a straight face. Well, okay, a few gallons of Botox will definitely do the trick, but still, how can you actually believe this? It basically proves the most fundamental difference between men and women when it comes to dating and life in general, which is that when men want a Ferrari, they know they will have to work their ass off to get it, while women on the other hand will simply manifest one. Use this one affirmation to become f rich in 2023, promise you. I get paid to exist. I get paid to exist. Wealth is my first race. I've got the best manifesting hack ever. Have you got some cinnamon? We use cinnamon all the time to welcome abundance to us, prosperity, wealth, cash, money. You're going to imagine spending $1,000 every single day and spend all of it. And every single day you add another $1,000. So by the end of 30 days, you're spending $30,000. It is really an epidemic out there. Anyways, in addition to the self-sabotage of blowing up a perfectly good relationship, this delusion of believing that you are somehow owed the very best partner that the universe has to offer is the second reason for why so many women hit that wall at light speed. Because living in a normal house and owning a normal car, that is not settling or living in hell. Just like there's nothing wrong with having a normal partner, who simply loves you and that you can trust. I mean, at this point, if you can find a woman that's not having a mental breakdown or a stripper's Instagram account, then you've basically won the lottery and you should really count your blessings. You don't need the very best and it's exactly this attitude that's setting all of these women up for failure. Because in all aspects of Erin's life, she's actually living a very basic, sometimes even below average lifestyle. Not only has she never had a proper relationship, but she's not even been on a proper date. I've never officially been on a date with someone. I've never had a partner, I've never had a boyfriend. It's like a virgin giving you tips on what to do in the bedroom. It's an absolute joke. And this is why I say that it's women who are building this wall for other women. This was why all the women hit the wall. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.